All right, so I'm finally gonna do a video on uh, chemical integration, formally um, uh, the basic idea is then the, the reason I want to pump it forward is the, the concept of thinking. Any action, or substance, or scenario that's absent of violence is never wrong. So, at the fundamental level, I think what that means is, if you consider any substance somehow fundamentally wrong for your body, it'll lead you to... Beyond suffering, is it'll cause you to... Um, assume violent actions are somehow okay. If you make the arbitrary s distinction where nonviolent chemicals are somehow wrong, then you'll make an arbitrary distinction where somehow violence is okay. It's this arbitrary distinction that causes the problem to begin with. Like, for racism, for example. Oh, well, they're, they're a different color, therefore you can be violent, just like a substance. Oh, well, it's a different uh, makeup. It causes different effects on the body. Therefore, it's wrong. The arbitrary distinction is what... Uh, causes the misunderstanding of what violence is. Because violence is a very tricky thing. It's not cut and dry. For, for example, on a, on a turtle's back, if you patted it like you would a dog, it wouldn't even feel it. If you smacked it to a degree that would hurt a dog, it would barely feel it. It would probably feel good to it. So, violence is something that can't even really be physically understood. So, the importance of chemical integration is understanding the ideal of uh, trusting nonviolence and mistrusting violence. Now, figuring out what the fuck violence is is where things get very tricky. Which is why I like to focus on the chemical integration. It's very logical, it's very easy to follow for people who are logical, and I present it in a logical way. Now, if you, if you want to, on top of that, stop violence, this is something that takes emotional understanding. Because when you cause what would be considered violence, unless you're empathetic to imagine yourself as them, as whatever would be considered um, the victim of the violence, only then can you figure out that it's violence. So, th there's actually um, the science behind a, a, a um, selfish gene? I think. Is that it? The selfish gene where, um, I'm not sure if that's it though, but anyway, there's, there's, a, there's a genetic difference in people that cannot be empathetic. But that being said, I mean, the, the beauty of chemical integration is the genetics are written by, um, The, the the chemicals you bring in, the chemical diversity, your genetics are written by it, so... Although there might be currently these people who are broken in that empathetic way, if they chemically integrate, they'll naturally get that empathetic genetic if they need it, which they clearly fucking do, because nobody wants to be an ap around an apathetic person. It's... It, it, it's interesting though because you don't have to be a selfless person to be empathetic. Because you understand that empathy will bring you reward. So it's a, it's a purely selfish action. And I think the, the, the genetics that do not have empathy worked into them are just unevolved. Very unevolved. And um, it, it's going to be very tricky to beat the system that allows them to sink their teeth in. Because generally our laws 
um, try to stop them from doing what they're doing. And as time goes on, there's more and more lies, uh, laws to stop them from what they're doing. But there's always loopholes within law. Yeah, there will always be loopholes within law. And I, what I think will happen with um, our genetics getting so strong from chemical integration, and, and chemical integration is something that humans fucking do amazingly well already. It's just I'm the one that's saying, this is why we're doing good. Like, if you look at humans and then the next smartest primate, who integrates more? Or, or any animal, who, who integrates more chemicals into their system? What animal requires the most nutrients, nutrients as we call it, aka chemicals that are well integrated? And it's humans. Humans have gone the furthest. I'm just sitting here saying, this is why we've gone so far. And, um, and, and I, I recently thought of a way to test it very quickly. And um, the number, the quickest and most uh, effective um, method of gaining new chemicals is through breath. You know, as opposed to digestion. And I think it's really interesting, like, uh, something like smoking marijuana. Because the smoke is so uh, harsh on the lungs, it actually physically conditions the lungs by hurting them to be stronger later on as well as the, the, the active substances in marijuana being so high when smoked and being active so fast because it's through breath. It's smoking marijuana as opposed to some kind of baking method is by far the best method of chem chemically integrating that I know of. And uh, a good part of it, I think, is from the fact that it's just... Uh, powerful thick smoke, and a good part of your, what you gain from it is just from the fact that it's smoke, that it's painful on your lungs, and the fact that your uh, breath is where you get most of your chemical integration, smoking it can, on one hand, block out other chemicals from getting in. So it can help you get a nice baseline going. This is why potheads like to smoke pot and they're in an environment where there's weird shit that they're breathing. Um, I do that all the time. And, fuck, I forget the other reason. Yeah, right, um, and it's damaging the lungs, which causes your body to realize, okay, this lung is now taking all this damage, it needs to be strengthened. And the way pollution and wind affect you, no matter where you live, as long as you're close to civilization, there's going to be days where pollution is worse than other days, and there's going to be taxation on your lungs, and this is why people, pot, pot smokers generally have less lung problems than people who do not smoke anything at all, and that's because they're, they're uh, physically conditioning their lungs to be able to deal with pollution a.k.a. another form of forced chemical integration due to the fact that you are in civilization which has valued chemical integration uh, on a subconscious level for th thousands of years. Quite frankly. Uh, so, yeah, fucking departing words. Make sure you fucking smoke weed at least. And the more ridiculous the substance, uh, the less you should be, do ra be doing right away. And always make sure you can get a stable source to get the new chemical you're trying to integrate, especially if you're going to go really fucking far with it. And you should be safe. And, and, and by the way, it's easier to do than you'd think. That's, that's what I've learned from it. It, it happens faster. Um, if you do it right and you, you really pay attention to the, the, the extrapolative method that you should be using, where you can do more and more, you, you can wean your way on and off as well. You do not have to evolve. This is very important. Because, and you shouldn't look down on the people that don't want to evolve either. It's, nor look down on people who want to evolve more than you. It's totally arbitrary. <laughs> Stupid dog. <laughs> See how unevolved they are?